A lunar eclipse occurs when the Sun, Earth, and Moon align so that the Moon passes into Earth's shadow. In a total lunar eclipse, the entire Moon falls into the darkest part of the Earth's shadow called the umbra. When the Moon is in umbra, it appears red-orange. Due to this phenomenon, lunar eclipses are sometimes called the blood moon. During the lunar eclipse, the moon appears red or orange. Because sunlight, which is not blocked by our planets, is filtered through the thick earth atmosphere on its way to the moon. It's as if all the sunrise and sunsets in the world are projected onto the moon. A lunar solar eclipse is what the moon is visible above the horizon. The shape of the lunar eclipse requires the moon to directly oppose the sun in the sky, so the moon can be seen above the horizon where the sun is below the horizon. The moon appears to go in the night zone in the shadow of the earth in the evening of March 13th or early morning on March 14th, turning red. The eclipse will be visible any location where the moon is above the horizon at the time, including from the Americas, Antarctica, Alaska, northeastern Russia and Africa. In Europe, only people from Ireland, Portugal, the western regions of England, western Spain and Central, and northwest France will see something. However, there is a partial lunar eclipse just before other parts of western Europe and some of the monitors. From further western Europe, partial lunar eclipses will generally become most of the major events. The moon is gradually covered in the shadow of the earth for more than 75 minutes, and the moon is placed completely in the shade west on Friday, March 14th, just a few minutes before the moon. The events from March 13th to 14th, 2025 are the first total of lunar eclipses since November 2022 and three events, 2025 and 2026. Throughout the lunar eclipse in March 2025, the full worm moon rises, then drifts into the shadows of Earth's Earth's shadow that night. The solar eclipse belongs to Ceres 123 and ranks 53rd out of the 70 to solar eclipse in the series. All the darkness in this series occurs in the descending knot of the moon. The moon moves north from the knot point of view, and each solar eclipse and gamma succeeds in the series. The solar eclipse is easy to see with undivided eyes. Moderate binoculars give you a great view of the moon, but you don't need it. In contrast to solar eclipses, Lunar eclipses are completely safe without examining a kind of filter. A dark environment away from bright lights makes for the best viewing conditions.